please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So the NHL season may still be suspended, but we that doesn't mean we don't have some hockey news to talk about. And we actually have... A couple of signings here over the last few days by the St. Louis Blues. I figured actual hockey stuff to talk about. That's always nice. So let's look at it here. A um, couple days ago, they signed forward Sammy Blay, who was a uh, pending restricted free agent, to a two-year contract worth $1.5 million. And then yesterday, they signed defenseman Marco Scandella, who is also a pending RFA, to a four-year deal worth $3.275 million per season. So obviously, the, uh, the Blues getting some contract work done here. Uh, even despite the stoppage in the season. And th this is these are two pretty quality signings, I think. Uh, Sammy Blay is a guy who, young player, young forward, who's become a pretty good secondary scorer type player for the Blues. Um, he's obviously won the Stanley Cup with them uh, last year. And uh, he's you know, a really solid third-line guy who's still young, I think has a higher ceiling, has not reached his full potential yet. I think he's going to continue to develop and, and grow offensively and grow as a player and, and be a really, really good player uh, as kind of like a middle-of-the-lineup type guy long-term. And for a two-year deal, obviously a bridge deal, this isn't the kind of franchise-changing player that you give a seven-year deal to. So he gets a two-year bridge deal here at $1.5 million, which is a very, very reasonable cap hit for somebody who I can think, who I think can score 15 to 20 goals next season uh, as he continues to get better as a player. So, um, yeah, if, I mean, if Blaze stays healthy, I think he's a, he's a big part of that Blues team depth-wise and an important player for them. So good signing there. And then Marco Scandella, defenseman who got traded twice last season, uh, ended up in St. Louis, uh, or at least twice, I guess not last season, this current season that may or may not continue. Anyway, he got traded a bunch of times. He went from Buffalo, Montreal to... Um, uh, to St. Louis, obviously. I don't know why I just couldn't think of that. Obviously, he's in St. Louis now. Um, but yeah, solid depth defenseman. Um, you know, pretty low cap pit, under three and a half million per year. And he's a good guy to have on your bottom pair. Uh, I think if he, you needed him to, or if if someone was injured, he could go up and maybe play more of a top. He could maybe play a mid pair, top four role. You know, it's like a number four guy. I think he's better suited as kind of a depth defensive defenseman on your um, on your bottom pair, who's a good bottom pair defenseman. That's not a knock against him. And uh, just, you know, a good penalty killer and somebody who plays well in his own zone. Uh, you know, pretty low cap hit. There's been a lot of talk about this signing of Scandella, meaning St. Louis is not bringing back Alex Petrangelo. I don't know about that. I'm, I've, you know, I've said it multiple times on this channel. I really think or have thought all along that Petrangelo is going to stay in St. Louis. Um you know, now the, the cap situation is going to be a whole other thing as well. So we'll see. I don't necessarily think this guarantees Petrangelo doesn't come back. Um, but obviously with, with, you know, them spending money on Scandella, that gives them less money to possibly spend on uh, Petrangelo. We'll, do, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I am not going to try and take a guess on that because I still think it is possible with maybe some other moves for, for St. Louis to bring Petrangelo back as well. But trying to compare Marco Scandella to Alex Petrangelo, just, I mean, they're not even remotely on the same level. And that's not a knock against Marco Scandella, but he's a solid depth defenseman, whereas Alex Petrangelo is one of the best defensemen in the NHL. So, and, and somebody who should be a Norris Trophy candidate for this season. So, I mean, they're not even remotely similar players. Um... I still think St. Louis might try and get a deal done with Petrangelo, but obviously this takes some of that money away. And they're certainly trying to, um, you know, fill out that, um, that, that defense core. But Bo Meester, obviously probably not going to play again in the NHL with his health issues. Maybe that opens up the money for Petrangelo if he retires after this season, or at least will be placed on LTIR and won't count against the cap. So... 
It's an interesting cap situation in St. Louis, but they got Scandal signed to a four-year deal, so I think he's going to be a solid depth defenseman for them for years to come. And uh, they got Sammy Blay signed to a two-year bridge deal as well. So St. Louis getting some contract work done here during the season suspension, and uh, I like both the deals for the team, and I think that they're they're pretty solid deals all the way around. So with that, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this uh, channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.